Greetings from the Pentecostals of Peterborough in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are going to do a two-part devotional on repentance and forgiveness with part one being repentance. In Isaiah 55, 67, it says, Seek ye the Lord while ye may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will be, have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Here what ends in salvation begins with repentance. Seeking the Lord is important. Calling upon him is critical, but so is forsaking wicked ways and unrighteous thoughts. It is impossible to talk about seeking the Lord without talking about turning from sin. It is impossible to talk about turning to the Lord without turning away from iniquity and wickedness. This is essential to the gospel message. To repent is to express godly sorrow and conviction for past sins and to turn purposely and determinedly from them. It is turning away from your own will and desires and turning to God's will and desires for your life, his direction and purpose according to the word of God. False repentance dreads consequences of sin, but true repentance dreads sin itself. In Matthew 3, 8, it says, Bring forth therefore... Fruits meet for repentance. You will see a truly repentant person by the fruit they produce, or in other words, their character or the way they live their life. A sinner out of true recognition, recognition sorry, of their sin will regret and hate for their sin, will turn from it unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord, as it depicts in Romans 6. People cannot just only believe. It's not just a prayer that invites Jesus into their life. You need to be a clear understanding that you will be turning from sin. It is not just a change on the surface of your life. It is a change in your direction and a person's whole being. We find in these times, or in this day and age, there's a whole lot about believing and not a whole lot of preaching or teaching about repentance. Yes, we first must believe. You can believe but not be repentant. But you can't truly repent and not believe, for it takes faith. To believe that God has a will and plan, purpose, and direction for your life. Repentance is the first of three steps of God's plan of salvation, and it is absolutely essential for salvation. Repentance is as important as anything else in the Bible. In Luke 5, 15, 7, it says, I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. John the Baptist preached it in Matthew 3, 2, saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus preached it, as it's recorded in Luke 13, 3, I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. One of the last things Jesus told his disciples before he ascended into heaven is found in Luke 24, 47, and it says, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. And it's exactly what his disciples did. In Acts 2.37, you can read where Peter preached his first apostolic message in the first apostolic church service. And the people said when they were convicted or pricked in their heart, and they felt sorrowful for what they've done. And they said to Peter and the disciples, men and brethren, what shall we do? And they wanted to know how to be saved. And Peter gave them the three keys to the kingdom, with the first key being repent. It's not a one-time thing, it's an all-the-time thing. In Romans 3.23 it says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Apostle Paul also said, he said, I die daily. When we want to know Jesus on a deeper level, we must put our lusts and pride to death daily. In James 4.6 it says, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. And God's love, he, he loves a broken and contrite heart, or a broken and contrite spirit. He loves a humble and repentant heart. All through the Bible, the Lord calls his people to repent. John the Baptist preached it. Jesus preached it. The apostles preached it. We preach it. There is no salvation apart from repentance. So what have we learned today? Everybody needs to repent. Repentance is turning away from your own desires and turning to God entirely. Repentance is essential to salvation. Repentance is continual. So now let me echo 
what Jesus said in Matthew 4, 17, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. God bless you.